Thank you, Winnipeg. Yes, for those of you that don't know me, you can probably tell by looking at my face and body that looking like a grown man, not really one of my strong suits. <laughs> Nobody told me how to do it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I guess muscles could be added to the kit at some point. <laughs> but I can't go to the gym. I've tried. I don't like it. Uh, it does not work for me because I hate it. Uh, I'm not good at it. And everybody else that goes is really good, and I don't feel like I should have to work out next to someone that's awesome. But don't get me wrong, I don't hate these guys. I feel bad that I'm in their way, right? They all came with a plan, and a protein shake, and a tank top, and a note pad. What are you writing? Everything was heavy, again. I don't get it, right? I'm jealous of them, first of all. I wish I could do what they do, because they're so scientific. <laughs> or like free weight, somehow they'll know exactly what weight they need at the beginning of every exercise. How do you know that? Like, I need 45s next. Really? You're that prepared? <laughs> every dumbbell exercise I do starts with me walking up to the heavy end of the rack and then working my way down, failing, till I can find one I can actually pick up. I'm just trying as hard as I can to not have to lift those tiny 10-pound weights at the other end. You know how embarrassing it is as an adult man to lift 10-pound weights in public? They should just spray paint those weights pink and hang streamers off the side. <laughs> if you don't like the gym, people will have solutions for you. I have friends all the time. Like, you don't like the gym? You should run. It's outside and it's free. Yeah, it's also the hardest thing in the world. You really kind of glazed over that necessary piece of information. You tried running for longer than a minute? It's very difficult. Running is the only activity I have ever engaged in where the entire time you are doing it, from start to finish, your brain is going, hey, stop this right now! <laughs> Nothing is chasing us and we're not hungry. <laughs> you should be saving this energy for one of those two times. I would never classify myself as a runner. I don't know, I'm like a jogger still. I don't know how you upgrade to runner. I know that you don't want to be a jogger though, because everything bad in the news always happens to a jogger. <laughs> you always hear a news story like, a tree fell over on a jogger today. <laughs> Any runners hurt? No, they ran out of the way. <laughs> The biggest mistake I made, though, as a young man moving out into the world was I never learned how to cook, and that's not a thing I would advise. I thought I could learn out on the fly, but you can't do that, because if you don't know how to cook, you also don't know how to shop, because foods are not together in the grocery store. Did you guys know that? The grocery store is a place where someone has disassembled foods and hid the pieces all over a building. I gotta walk around some kind of food library trying to reverse engineer tacos from memory. <laughs> Dating is a hard thing to figure out as well. Uh, I like to say I'm pretty good at it now. I think I've figured out how to date properly. I'll pay for things on a first date. That's the thing I learned. I know that a lot of guys still get upset about that. They're like, well, should I have to buy her a salad? She's got a job, Ugh, equal rights. Ugh. And I used to be like that, and then I discovered how much makeup costs. <laughs> and now I will pay for everything all the time. <laughs> but guys are so ignorant to the fact that makeup exists, and it's your fault, because you keep it a secret. It's usually the answer to all the stupid questions we have about you. Like, I love when guys are like, why is she taking so long in the bathroom? She has to build a face in there. The guys have no idea how to meet girls anymore, either. It seems like we're getting worse at it, I think. <laughs> the nightclub is a shiny example that guys are the stupidest. The fact that we fall for their model every single time. Because it happens all the time. Young guys will go to a nightclub, we'll stand in line, we'll see 20 hot girls go in for free, and then we'll be like, can we go in there? I'm like, for you? 15 bucks. <laughs> like, why? Because there's girls in here. <laughs> and then we go, that sounds like a pretty good deal. <laughs> are they gonna be drunk in there? Eventually but you'll be financing that as well.
But I think the weirdest thing is sometimes I'll go to a club and I will see a couple together at the nightclub, which is weird because get the hell out of here. This is not a place for you. This is a place for single people to get drunk and try and touch each other. Don't come in here with your success story. Start throwing it in everybody's face. Nobody wants to see that. I don't buy a car and then drive down to a used car lot every Sunday in front of everybody else shopping for cars. You guys want one of these? I already got one. Check it out. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna park it over here for a little while and walk away. You guys will all think it's available. And you can all check it out. Maybe buy it free drinks, fill the tank for me, and I'll come back at the end of the night and be like, it was mine the whole time, douchebags. <laughs> all right, Winnipeg, you've been fantastic. Thank you so much. I'm Adam Decker. <laughs>